delicious and great date with Chef Pachi. Hi, this is Chef Pachi, and today I want to teach you how to make spaghetti squash. It is super easy to make, it kind of cooks on its own, and it can be a base for many, many dishes. Today, we're going to serve it with garbanzo. In our next recipe, we're going to serve it with a delicious tapenade. First thing we're going to do is we cut our spaghetti squash in two. Then we remove the seeds. That's all we have to do to the squash. We have it ready to prepare in any way you want. Today, we're going to add some spice and herb. We're going to add some sesame oil, dark sesame oil, which has a delicious deep flavor. And we're going to add some garlic cubes. You can just press some garlic or slice it or chop it and add it to the inside and the center of our spaghetti squash. Now here we're going to add a teeny bit of salt and pepper and last but not least some delicious acacia honey that I have. And you can use either honey or maple syrup and it's just a touch. It's going to absorb a little bit and it's not going to be completely sweet. But with the sesame oil, it's going to give it a delicious flavor. Then we're going to top it with some fresh rosemary. And this is going to be all you need. Like I said, a tip with salt and pepper and we are done. We cover our spaghetti squash for the first part of the baking time. We're going to place it on a baking dish over foil or paper or as is. We are going to cover our spaghetti squash with some foil because we want it to steam and bake completely inside. So we cook it for about 20 minutes at 350. And then we take it out and remove the foil. What we're going to do here is now we are going to pull up our oven up to 425 degrees and we are going to cook it for about 5 to 10 minutes until it's lightly golden and delicious. Watch how all of those mixtures boil inside. We have our spaghetti squash ready to go. Now we're going to mix the flavors that we cooked it with and peel off all that spaghetti. All you have to do is this. Put two forks into the spaghetti squash, pull and you're done. This is it. So this is going to be our base of our meal today. On top, we're going to add some garbanzos that I cooked and some that I toasted. That way, you're going to have some crisp and some softness to your dish. Mmm, it's beautiful and delicious. And now, all of those flavors as I put the center into the bottom are going to mix. And the steam from it coming right out of the oven is going to flavor it itself. All we have to do now is add our garbanzos, to which I have added some sesame oil, a little bit of rosemary, and some lime juice. Love what you're eating, have an amazing meal, and enjoy your food. Remember, with Chef Pachi, delicious diets are sustainable diets. Scroll down for the recipe, you can print it. Subscribe and turn on the bell for recipe updates.